Hey guys, Sonia here with Joe Black Productions. Today we're gonna talk to you about the most important seat in your house, and what is that? The Royal Throne, exactly. We're gonna talk to you about how to install a bidet, and is the price difference worth it? Okay, so here's my husband opening the package. Obviously, to the right, you can see that uh, there's two different options, an elongated bowl and, and a round. We have the elongated bowl, and you want to look at the profile image and make sure that it's going to fit flush to the back. Now, on the top, this is what's included. The main thing is a bracket. That's where the seat will fit on top of, and then the T-connector where the hoses will connect. On the bottom, you just need a screwdriver, a measuring tape, and a wrench, and of course, an outlet right by your toilet. All right, so this is basically cut into four steps. Please pause if you feel the need to, but the first thing you're gonna do is take out your toilet seat, number one. Number two, you're gonna install the bracket. Number three is you're gonna mount the toilet seat on the bracket. And number four, you're gonna connect the hoses that actually run the system in the toilet seat. All right, these are again the measurements if you need to uh, reassure yourself of them. And also the height is something to take a, uh, look, a look at. And of course, make sure that it's flush to the back. Here are the different sprays that this this one includes rear, soft spray, front spray, oscillating spray, and the best thing is is that it's an adjustable wand. We like this one because it's covered in a resin that makes it like a non-stick coating and it's basically self-cleaning after every use. So you never have to worry about pulling that stick open and cleaning it. It's pretty nasty. Another thing that we love about this is that it's a heated seat. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. It is just always nice and warm for that tush of yours. All right, so here is the first step. We're gonna take out that toilet seat. So my husband here is showing you that he's unscrewing the old model. All you do is turn counterclockwise. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, as mom always showed us. Take those off, hold them to the side, or you know what, you can throw them away because you're never going back to this toilet seat again. The Toto is worth it. This is a Toto C100, if I haven't explained that to you while my husband takes this apart. It is, of course, like I said, a heated seat, electric bidet. It also has a deodorizer. Can you believe that? Pee-wee. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the price. So an average toilet seat costs $45 per unit and this one actually retails for $330. It is expensive, but we chose the more expensive because it's Amazon and we wanted the reassurance. You can do non-prime for $285. He is going to take off the hose first, but before you do that, what he showed you is that you have to turn off the water and make sure that you have something in there to catch anything that falls down. Then you put that T-connector right up into the actual model of the toilet, and then you connect your hose to the bottom part. The T that is perpendicular is the one that's gonna be connected to the water hose that will help filter the water through the toilet rim and into the actual spigot that pops out. So here is a really important part, the bracket. This is the part that your toilet seat fits on top of, okay? So what he's showing you here is that you actually have to unloosen the screws push down the plastic bracket until it makes contact with the plastic below. And then once it does that, you can go ahead and screw the device in. The screwdriver that you need is I think a Phillips or a star. It looks like a star from here, but you know, I'm a girl. Anyways, uh, the next step is, is that you'll have to measure the distance here. You want it at least 1.8 inches away from the opening of the bowl. All right, and this just assures you that whenever you mount your toilet seat into the actual toilet, that it's gonna remain flush to the back. And don't worry, if this does not work, you can always take it off and readjust. It's very, very easy, even though I didn't do any of the work, but oh well, that's why we have husbands, right? This is the most amazing part. This thing, I will, this is like one of the best investments that we've ever made. So what he's showing you here is that these side brackets will fit into the bracket. It's basically like a puzzle piece. As soon as you see those or feel those notches kind of align, push that sucker right through until it falls flush to the back. Nice and clean. That's another feature I love. You're not gonna hear the snapping of the toilet every time your husband gets up in the middle of the night to pee. That toilet seat goes down nice and slow, just like I like it. 
<laughs> so this little button is to eject the toto forward so that you can adjust the bracket if need to. So here's the hose that's gonna go back into the T connector. Put the hose right back into the T connector and this is the one that's gonna go ahead and flush out the toilet rim. Now, why is this important guys? Because sometimes we get sick and you know, we splatter a little bit. Um, I don't because I'm a female, but you know, sometimes, so what happens is when you sit down on the toilet, the toilet feels your weight and it gives a spray mist on the toilet bowl so that it makes things less sticky. All right, plug it into the AC adapter now. Here's the freaking nozzle that we love. We love it. So one thing that he's showing you here is that once it's installed, do not forget to turn the water back on so that you can see if there's any leaking water. If not, you're good to go. All right, guys. One thing that I wanna note here on this slide is that its remote is located on the right lateral side. We liked this feature of the C100 that retails for 330 because we will not have to worry about it falling on the floor and getting icky. Like and subscribe. Bye.